wonder what Drake Bell's up to. Let's check Twitter. Why's he got a photo of Dick Van Dyke? A gray square? A sun? A knight? Chicken wings? The hell are you posting about, Drake? No! Dick, Gray, Sun, Knight, Wing, the Drake Bell wants to be Dick Grayson, aka Nightwing. <laughs> <laughs> two-year-old monkey on a farm. In all seriousness, Drake, thank you for the laugh, but uh, we'll take it from here, okay? Don't, uh, don't, don't throw your name into any hats about superhero stuff, especially freaking Nightwing. Okay, bro, we got it from here, okay? I don't follow Drake Bell on Twitter, but one of you guys tweeted me this, and I found it hilarious when I went through it. Not as hilarious as this thing. <laughs> When I got this sent to me, I thought this was hilarious, and I felt like it was the perfect time to actually make a Nightwing fan casting. And I will be 100% honest with you, I have been avoiding this video because you guys have been asking for it for a long time, but I've been avoiding it like the plague because I just don't know who should play Nightwing. I'm serious, like, I've actually thought about this a lot because I wanted to make this video for you guys, but it's just so hard to really cast somebody for Nightwing. Now I got a few ideas and it's going to be more of what a lot of people are talking about, but I just don't like anybody that has like come out that a lot of people are like, oh, this person would be good. This person would be good. And I don't know. I just don't like a lot of them for a lot of different reasons. And we're going to go through them right now. And I do have a pick for Nightwing, but personally, I don't even know if I want this person to be Nightwing. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The biggest one everybody always mentions to me is what about Glenn from The Walking Dead? He should be Nightwing. And I just don't. I love Steven Yan, right? That's how you say his name. I freaking love him. I loved him as Glenn on The Walking Dead. I hated that he got killed off. I understood why he got killed off because it was a major death in the comic books and it just had to happen. But... But I just don't see him as Nightwing, and I don't know if I could buy him as Nightwing. I'm pretty sure he can get cut and ripped and everything, but I just don't think he has the look for Nightwing. I think he's a fucking great character. I would love to see him make it on the big screen and stuff like that since he's no longer on The Walking Dead, but I just don't feel like he's the right fit for Nightwing. And a lot of this will make sense later in the video when I explain why picking somebody for Nightwing is so important. But I'm just gonna go through these first few people and just talk about, you know, just, I just don't, you know, people were talking about them, I just don't feel like they'd be Nightwing. Besides Steven Yeun, a lot of people are talking about Kit Harrington. you know, Jon Snow, you know nothing Jon Snow! Everybody says that every freaking video, but you know what, it's just a cool thing to say and I like saying it because I freaking love Game of Thrones. But, a lot of people keep saying that he could be an awesome Nightwing and I don't know if he could be an awesome Nightwing. One, the curly cues, not gonna cut it for Nightwing, okay? You cannot have that hairstyle with Nightwing. They're gonna have to straighten his hair every time, kind of like I have to straighten my hair every time when I want it to look good. Um, but yeah, I just don't see Kit Harrington. Like, not with his current, like, said he's gonna probably have to go clean cut. He's gonna have to go, like, you know, they're gonna have to freaking straighten his hair and stuff. But even then, I don't know if he would be a good Nightwing. And the reason why is because the one thing about Nightwing is he has a smart-ass personality. And I know Kit Harrington can pull off some very dramatic shit, but I don't know if he can be that much of a smart-ass. Now, I will say that I've only seen him in Game of Thrones. I don't know the other roles he has, but I just don't know if he would be a solid Nightwing. And I also don't think he has the look for it either. Those are actually two of the biggest brought-up names that I know about Nightwing, or Stephen Yeun and Kit Harington. I just, you know, they were both on really good, awesome shows. I love their characters on both of those shows, but I just don't think they fit Nightwing. Now this next one I thought would have been a solid Nightwing. I even did a video about it back in the day and that is Army Hammer but and he's you guys know about Army Hammer because he's constantly been teased as either Nightwing or Green or the Green Lantern who would be Hal Jordan and I think he fits being Hal Jordan way more than he does fit being Nightwing. I think he would make a great Nightwing but I feel like he just he just like he would be so much better as Hal Jordan in my opinion. I mean they're both smart asses both characters are very smart asses. So, I mean, he could play either one, but I just feel like how Jordan with Army Hammer's look would make so much more sense than Nightwing would. And I hope he gets cast as Green Lantern, and I hope it's freaking he's right next to Idris Alba as Jon Stewart. Those would be perfect roles for both of those people, and then they're in a body, a freaking buddy cop 
freaking kind of drama comedy thing. Like, make that happen, DC. Army Hammer as Hal Jordan. Freaking Idris Elba as Jon Stewart. Lethal Weapon style. Like, mm, think that would be a fucking great movie. Next up, the person I thought would have been a decent Nightwing. And I'm surprised it didn't happen. This was actually the very first, like, comic booky video I did on my channel. If you guys remember, if you've been here since then, like, applaud to you guys. But I made a theory video, it was my first ever theory video on this channel, that Scott Eastwood would actually be a Dick Grayson, like, would be Dick Grayson undercover for Batman inside the Suicide Squad. And, like, that mood, that video started it all, guys. But I thought he would have been a solid freaking Nightwing, and, like, his storyline could have started perfectly because at the time of Suicide Squad filming and that movie coming out, there was no Nightwing comic. It was currently the Grayson comic where he was undercover inside Spiral. And if you didn't know about that storyline, it was after the Forever Evil series where Nightwing got unmasked and Batman was like, look, I still want you to do some stuff for me. And he makes him go undercover in this secret like evil organization or whatever it is. Not necessarily an evil organization, but a spy organization. And we had a good solid run of Gray the Grayson comic book. And I thought that would have been perfect for Scott Eastwood to show that Dick Grayson is in this universe and he was actually working under Amanda Waller as, you know, the character being played by Scott Eastwood. But unfortunately, if you guys saw Suicide Squad, he got blown up with freaking uh, El Diablo in the damn movie at the end because he was underwater when they set off the bombs. And I don't think he lived. Although if they wanted to, they could actually just say Scott Eastwood got away and he swam away before the explosion and bada bing bada boom. He's actually Nightwing. But I don't know. I, I would have been okay with that just because he would have been undercover in Suicide Squad. And I thought that would have been super badass. But I don't see him being Nightwing because I think he's dead. Some other people have thrown out there that the dude from Supernatural, I don't remember his name, but he's like the taller one. And then the other guy that they should actually both be uh, Nightwing and Red Hood. And I don't, I don't watch that show, so I don't know how awesome of actors they are, but that show's been on for like 12 or 13 years, so I'm pretty sure it's a solid freaking show, and I hear good things about it a lot. And a lot of people are like, they should be Nightwing and freaking, you know, Red Hood, that would be amazing. Um, that would be cool, but I don't know if their look fits with those two characters, and also I don't know their ages, but Nightwing and Red Hood would probably be in their late 20s, early 30s in this DC universe, because I leave, I I believe Batman is in like his early 40s in this universe or maybe late 30s. I don't really know. So there's like there's like a good 10 to 12 years difference between Batman and his former Robins. So you got to kind of have a younger character in this Nightwing role. So those are the big like castings that I hear from a lot of people are like these, these, this person, this person. But I just don't think any of them fit. I mean, like I said, I would have been okay with Scott Eastwood if they would have had that storyline and Army Hammer. I would totally be okay if they cast him, but I think he just makes such a better Green Lantern. Before I actually talk about who I think might be a good Dick Grayson, like I said, I don't even know if I want this person to be Dick Grayson. I just want to talk about Dick Grayson as a character, or I should say Nightwing as a character, and why I have not wanted to do this fan casting for so long. And it's because I feel like Dick Grayson... Unlike Batman, there's like certain aspects you need to have to play this character. One is you got to be able to be a smart ass. Like that is what Dick Grayson is. Like he plays around a lot. He doesn't take things too seriously. Like he talks crap during battles. You know, it's just what he does. He's just got like a smart ass personality in the battle. Like he can hold his own. He can kick ass. He can do, he's an acrobat. He can do all of these crazy flips and like just, he can be a badass. But what separates him away or what separates him from Batman man is he like talk shit he talks shit during fighting batman is serious he's zoned in on his character or whoever he's gonna fight and he just takes care of business where dick grayson is more of like a cocky fighter and he knows he's gonna win but you know he just likes to say words i mentioned dick grayson is an acrobat Whoever's gonna play freaking Dick Grayson is gonna need to be cut because acrobats are cut. Like, they're freaking... It d takes a lot to be able to do that kind of stuff with your body. So whoever's gonna be freaking Dick Grayson is gonna have to get in, like, hella shape. And it's not, again, different from Batman. He's gonna have to be more lean. He's not gonna be able to be like Ben Affleck and look at me, motherfucker. Like, it's not gonna be like that. He's gonna have to have a lean, cut body where, like, like with Batman... 
he's just like you can just throw the cow on him and he can look really crazy and he'll just look super tough dick grayson's not going to be that way he's going to need to be lean acrobatic and he's just going to need to look badass in his suit smart ass personality solid freaking good looks and lastly you're gonna he's gonna need to be lovable because people like dick grayson and that's what again what separates him from Batman. People like his personality. At times, he has to be really serious, and that's why some people are like, man, you're acting like way too much like Batman, and that's the kind of the conflict Dick Grayson has, because he never wants to be like Batman, but he knows eventually he's just going to be exactly like him, because that's who that's who's taught him, that's who brought him up, that's what who keeps him alive, and who keeps him grounded is Batman, so that's why I'm worried about like whoever does this thing is gonna have to be able to be a smart ass and gonna have to be really good in shape and is gonna have to be able to be dramatic and likable at the very same time so there's like a lot of these elements that are going on into dick grayson that i just don't know who could be that who could act as dick grayson in this universe so right now the only person i can really think that i would be okay with being nightwing that can pull off a lot of that stuff that has the body that has the freaking personality that i think is likable and but the one thing that worries me is the dramatic part is zach freaking efren like i don't know like i don't like i said i don't even know if i want this guy to be nightwing because i just you know i don't i don't watch too many of this guy's movies but I think he, he, he's done all those damn rated R comedies, so you know he's a smartass. He can pull off smartass very well. I think he'd be able to get Nightwing's personality pretty solid. If you've seen the last Baywatch movie, which I haven't, but I saw the damn previews, you know the dude is super cut, and he will train for this movie, and he will look like the, the character. So you got that down. He's likable. A lot of people like this guy. I mean, you know, people go watch his movies all the time. He brings in people. He puts butts in seats, so he will be likable. The only thing that worries me about this guy is I haven't seen him in anything really dramatic, and I don't know if he can pull that off. That's the only thing that worries me because there are going to be times that he's probably going to have to fight with Batman or he's going to be like feuding with Batman or he's going to have to like think about his parents and like why he's doing this and that's the only thing that concerns me about you know if Zac Efron were to be Nightwing in this movie is just the dramatic parts I think he can do everything else really well but um yeah I don't know that's why I'm just like I, I'm so torn about these fan castings for this particular character and I think once they're like, all right, this person's going to be Nightwing, I'm going to be like, all right, cool, let's just see what he does. Because there's so much to just capture this character. Unlike Batman, you can get a brooding person to be Batman and just be serious all the time, and they can nail Batman. That's kind of what we saw in BVS with Ben Affleck. Everybody's like, yeah, he's a solid freaking Batman because he looked great in the suit, bada bing, bada boom. That's it. That's all you care about is just him being the badass in the suit. Nightwing is he he looks good in the suit but at the same time it's all about his personality and that is what's going to be huge in the it's what's going to be huge in the Nightwing movie and what's going to separate him from Batman. So I don't know guys, I want to know who you would fan cast as freaking Nightwing with all of this information I just said like cuz if we want to get a solid character, he's going to have to be all of those things. So who do you think will be Nightwing? Let me know your fan cast in the comment sections down below. Guys and gals, don't forget you can pick up a new Juice from the Box t-shirt over on Teespring. There's a few days left on the campaign. Link in the description if you want to get yourselves a Juice's Joker shirt. That totally helps out the channel or you can check out the Patreon like these awesome people did or you can always do the OG thing and give this video a like and share it with all of your Nightwing buddies. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for all things nerdy and geeky on this channel. As always, I'm your host Juice Box. Remember when you wake up in the morning, ask yourself something. Have I been a daily dose of juice? See you guys next time.